MicroRecorder can process data files line by line and automate things with it. For example, here we have a text file with an animal in each line. Now let's MicroRecorder AI create images out of these animals. Done. Let's see the result. A cat, a dog, a mouse, tiger, bird. Now let's check how this is done in Macro Recorder. To read out data files, click on MISC and set a variable from data list. Then you can either enter the values line by line or you can select a file. Click on the folder icon and select the file. Then you have options how to go through the list, either sequentially until the end of the list or you can repeat infinitely or randomly. Then you need to define a variable where to store the line. You call it animal. Then we want to AI create an image. So we go to image and select AI generate image. Here we define the prompt and with the right click, you can add variables. And we choose the variable we just defined before. And the AI result, so the image should be saved to the variable animal image. Then we want to save each animal picture as a separate file on the desktop. So we go to a MISC, select save variable, pick the variable which contains the data to save, and then we define the storage location, which is a desktop. Here we enter a dummy name because we will replace this. When we would keep it like this, then on every cycle, when we generate a new picture, the old file would be overwritten. So we need to use a variable here. I replace the dummy with a right click and select the variable with the name of the animal. Perfect. Now we need to cycle through the macro. There are two options. We recommend the repeat action. So we click MISC, select repeat, and we want to loop through the macro from the beginning. So we keep the, the system label start. And then there is a convenient option because in some cases you might not know the exact number of lines of your source file. So you can let Macro Recorder figure that out for you. That's it. Now the following is important. As mentioned, there are two options how to go through the data list. What we just shown here is using the repeat action, which is a recommended way because it automatically determines the number of repetitions. But if you want, you can also go with a solution to cycle through the playback. So you click on playback, then you need to count the number of items, which is five in this example, and then you enter five, and then you need to click file, settings, playback, and then you need to uncheck this option because by default, Macro Recorder resets variables and internal list counters on each playback cycle. So if you wouldn't uncheck this, Macro Recorder would only read the first line five times. Okay, now let's play this again while showing the variable explorer. 